joining my channel, mammals. We're getting ready to make breakfast with the French French toast, the French bread French toast. All right. Um, these, these are the crusts. And I'm just going to get Uncle Robert's grandmother's rolling pin here and crush them up a bit. Build them into a heap. I, you know, you could put these in a blender, but I think it would make too much of a dust and not enough of, of little crunchy pieces. So I'd rather do it this way. We don't lose the chunky. Not, it's a little too chunky though. <laughs> Just keep doing it a few times, I guess. See, there's some pieces that, oh, they're not quite, that's why, they're not quite, some of them, see, are a little bit rubbery still, so they're not crunchy enough to crunch <laughs> the break. That's okay. This is good. Okay. Let me just get it just to put these in. Now, um, I remember us just frying things in butter. We didn't use oil yet. I, I think that came in later, using oil to fry things in. We just fried everything in butter. But now people fry things in oil. So maybe we can do kind of a combination, like a stick of butter and a stick of oil. And that will answer everything. <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> Let's see here. Here's some oil. I want it to be quite deep. This is a big frying pan. I shouldn't have used I shouldn't have used such a big frying pan. Hmm. I think I'm gonna switch. Because it takes up so much more oil. <laughs> we can clear that out later. some butter too. Maybe not the whole thing. We'll see. The leaning tower. <laughs> I think this is going to be just fine. You can 
we can put more if we, if we want to. Now, I put some of these in here so that they could get started. Um, let's see, I have to. This way, we're in the assembly line. It's a bit hot. Quite ready. This guy's like, gotta be really ready. He's just gonna be It's not quite. It slowed down because I turned it. <laughs> Turned it down, so we actually have to leave them a little bit longer. So I'm just trying to get a plate to make one serving to show you. I wish you could join this, but <laughs> um, I think they'll look really pretty on this point. I think I've shown this TV before. using up all the cut off pieces of decals that would have been lost if they didn't go on this if the back. Okay.
Okay, I have some genuine, <laughs> I know that's bad English, but it's fun. <laughs> some genuine maple syrup um, to heat up here. I'll just move these aside while we pick this up a little bit. And then the other way that we always love to eat it, at least I especially, um, was with a lemon. Soviet sparkle sugar. <laughs> we get it at the Russian market. And it's more sparkly than our sugar. It's, uh, I've, I've shown this before. There's a lot of other things in here <laughs> because I do the oranges and I don't know if you can really see. Anyway, it's bigger chunks and it's very sparkly and it's crunchy when you eat it. So. We'll do it on one of them. There's the orange, the lemon going through. And we'll see what we think of that. This is probably warm enough. Maybe not quite warm. And these I think I can take out. I don't want them sitting in the, in the butter too long. The butter and oil. Oh, these are these are really these are great. Oh, I so wish you could taste these. They're just so delicious. I mean, at least when I was little, when I was a girl, they. I haven't had them <laughs> for a long time. I'm just remembering. And I thought, oh, let's, let's see if we can do this. Okay, here. This is the last one in. I think I should take this, set it in. And then here, here are some with the syrup. There. Oh, and another thing I always like to do, I don't know, I do this every, every time we, I always put on um, the confectioner's sugar on the top. And then, I ring the bell. Before I sit down, I just thought, some people ask about things um, that I have on. And this is another one of Heather's school jumpers that I made for her. And now she makes her own beautiful clothes. And these are just kind of you know, ordinary, um, but I just, I wear them. And it's kind of fun because they're getting another life. So I sewed buttons with a ribbon ruffs and trimmed the bottom with it and made pleats that way. So this way, as she grew, I could let out pleats and cover them with ribbon. For instance, this was a pleat, but then when she grew taller, I could cover it with a piece of ribbon. And the, you know, where the, the seam of, or the, the fold in the fabric, it wears and gets a white mark. So this way, it doesn't look like it's been lengthened, but it has. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> this is the hardest part for me. I feel so um, disrespectful <laughs> eating in front of you, but at least I can taste it and I can tell you if I think it has, um, something that you would be enjoy making. Let's see, which one was the one with this, the sugar? This is the one with the 
lemon and sugar. So it's kind of hard because it's mixed with the, a little bit with the um, <clears throat> if you have this <clears throat> at, a, at a fancy tea room or you would you would always go back there for more <clears throat> the French bread inside is just so fluffy and puffy it's almost like a souvet, a souffle. Mm. The lemon, you know, I think you could put lemon and sparkly Soviet sugar on all of it, and then also the syrup if you want. <laughs> mm. Side is really like a custard. Mm. Uh, I'm so grateful to, that you're here. As soon as my mouth isn't full, maybe we can read a little bit from the lesson to show our gratitude, shall we? Just a minute. Well, I moved my 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 plate away, <laughs> and we. We always read the lesson in the morning. So I thought you must wonder what that is. It's, um, it, it's different every, every uh, week, different subject. And um, so I just thought, and it's made into usually six, five to seven sections, just whatever works out. So this one, I'll just read the first section. Um, it's from First Chronicles. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Psalms. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked, he turneth <laughs> upside down. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yep, that, that's a good way to get uh, things solved. <laughs> the Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord. And the word was made, this is from John, first John. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Signs and health. The true understanding of God is spiritual. Um, divine science, the word of God, saith to the darkness upon the face of error, God is all in all, and the light of ever-present love illumines the universe. The scriptures are very sacred. Our aim must be to have them understood spiritually for only by this understanding can truth be gained. It is this spiritual perception of scripture which lifts humanity out of disease and death and inspires faith. The advent of Jesus of Nazareth marked the first century of the Christian era. But the Christ is without beginning of years or end of days throughout all generations both before and after the Christian era the Christ, as the spiritual idea, the reflection of God, has come with some measure of power and grace to all prepared to receive Christ. Truth. Abraham, Jacob, Moses, and the prophets caught glorious glimpses of the Messiah, or Christ, which baptized these seers 
in the divine nature, the essence of love, the divine image, idea, or Christ, was, is, and ever will be inseparable from the divine principle, God. So that was the first section. <laughs> okay, my channel mammals, I'm so glad we, I wish we, you could have had breakfast with us, but um, at least you can do it yourself. And uh, I, I had a, a couple of comments to myself afterwards. I think I should have added a little bit more milk uh, because that helps to break through the, um, the particles of the bread even more. Um, I would have, instead of adding another egg or anything else, just a little bit more milk to loosen it up a little bit more. And that would have made the inside even more custard-like. So I think it was delicious and it was just creamy and lovely. But I just think a little bit more would have helped. And again, I can't tell you because I don't know how much I did in the first place. But, you know, the second time you make it or whatever. I've, I said to Richard, I think I've made this before in, in long ago. And he said, yes. And um, so I, I, a long time ago, I must have done it. I remember doing it since I was on my own away from home. Um, I don't think there's anything else I, would, I could say. And I suppose you could do this with Italian bread or any, any, anything, really. Um, but you need it, you just need the crust, crusty parts too. Okay, well that that's in the way of what we ended up with. <laughs> Maybe we can flip this video around <laughs> and end with this wonderful last thing. Let's see, I'll read it again so we end on the right note here. Um, it's over here, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Abraham, Jacob, Moses, and the prophets caught glorious glimpses of the Messiah, or Christ, which baptized these seers in the divine nature, the essence of love. The divine image, idea, or Christ was, is, and ever will be inseparable from the divine principle, God. Amen.